Hello YouTube fans, here again and now I'm going to talk about one of the video nastiest, one of the most early ones since Bloodfish <laughs> that being Lufthamp 7 one of the very first, one of the very first Nancy Pachasers films and what do I think of Lufthamp 7? A load of fucking shit I settled it, what do you think loser? My dog by the way See? She's having an epilepsy fit of boredom of Love Champ fucking Seven. This to me, and I've been open and honest, let me doggy again. This to me is fucking soft porn. It's fucking soft porn in the late 1960s. Remember why right, the 1968-1969 Love Champ Seven come out and yes it was one of the video nasties. Why? I don't fucking know. To me, it's just soft fucking porn. But yeah, you get torts in it. Let's so go on with the bladding story. You've got these two women working for the Americans. They go into Tufford to pretend to be Jewish women. And they pretend to get tatsered with the undercover. And you've got this guy. Now, this guy cannot act to save Diggity D. And he's pretending to be a German soldier. Now, his accent is the worst German accent ever. He's just like this. And you've got to do what he says. And you've got to do what I say. I do it now. Hey Hitler. Hey Hitler. Now, I'm not for doing that for laughs and diggles. But seriously, that is what he fucking sounds like. What the fuck? You do what I say. No, 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 no. Hey, the bitch, I tell you. Hit ya. To the German offence. That is his fucking acting. That is his fucking acting. This guy cannot do a German accent to save his fucking life. So, they're using women to have sex with. They're using women to fucking do what they want and to be sex slaves. That's what I mean by this is soft porn. Now, a lot of these German Nancy films, as you know, have been banned in the UK for this. None of them have ever aired. It's more watchable though, it's not as unwatchable, let's say, as SS Experiment Tramp. And it's not as shit as fucking Beast on eat with a little die shagging women to death. No, you're not eating things. Another video on Nasta, a little fucking die which shag women to death. Honest, I'm not going to make that up with a tide. It's not as nasty as them. But there are some sorts of bits in it. Like they've got this bit scene in it where they've got a wooden pole. And they tie this woman up and she's got her legs down there. And the wooden pole is there without being dirty minded. No matter what that must feel like. A pointed wooden pole on your Dak and Danny. And the women feel sorry for her. The dying helper, the German soldier, the one who can't act to save Diggity D. For me, it's like funny after a bit. His German accent does get a bit laughable. What are you doing? You, I told you not to fear. What are you doing? And he starts ripping up, the worst is ripping effort, it's so hilarious, I'm laughing my ass off. The scene's supposed to be disturbing because he's overacting, honest to God, honest to God, he's overacting, he's laughable. So he's pretending to rip them, he's ripping them as much as me picking my fucking nose. And because he's barely fucking talks to them. And uh, he's acting, he's like, what are you doing? You, you, you naughty women. And I'm thinking, what the fuck am I watching? What the fuck am I watching? This film is just, it's just shit, basically. It's just, and it's just it's old tits and nudity. Probably watch it for a laugh. I probably watch it for a comedy because I'm down thinking, down thinking in my head, how the fuck is this a video? Nasty. There, you've got that bit of the wooden pole. That would be a disturbing scene that he wouldn't come in doing his shitty acting. Right? Now, you've got one woman. She's going to actually bonk loads of dice, and there's one German soldier. You've got the idea there's probably a good side to him. He's not all the death of a fucking arsehole, but he's just shagging the Jewish women and all. And he's saying to the fucking guy, the fucking guy who can't do a fucking German accent to save his life, that it's Ron, he doesn't deal with what's going on with these women, and he's saying he's pulling his bolt, and he's like this, yes, yes, but it's for the better toss. It is for Hitler, and the women, is, they do the do this, and they need to pay, pay for the upper toss being Hitler. Seriously, that's the guy's acting all the way through the 
fucking film. But I'll do it this time. I do this too. The talks are seen a bit more bearable. There's been worse films than this, what have been these type of films. Oh, there's been one where a woman gets burnt on the test. There's fucking SS experiment time. You know what I think of that. Piece of fucking shit. Beast on E, a little fucking runt shagging women to death. You've got the sea wolf. Or fucking women getting tortured just for fucking torts of sake. In this, it's not really that bad. There's a bit of a story to it. Again, there's an excuse for tits. There's an excuse for nudity. So as the film goes on, the women manage to outsmart home. They kill the German soldiers. One gets stabbed in the eye. The fucking direct cannot do a German accent. The safest fucking life. He gets shot. They all get killed. And then you've got it really. Um, I remember right there. It's a couple of days after, you've got these two sergeants and they're driving along and they mention about the two women and, and this is kind of poor taste. It's poor taste in my eyes because the stupid soldiers, the high up men, which see really just so how so many films were at a certain era. They do around and say, yeah, 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 but it seems the women had a bit of fun. It seems they had a bit of a good time when this was going on. And I'm thinking, a good time? What the fuck? What the fuck was this diet to fucking smoking? The women have been sexually humiliated. They've been tortured. When you think about it, no, they didn't have a good time. They had the fucking toys. They were fucking sex slaves in a fucking camp. With German fucking soldiers just taking advantage. Whenever they got any fucking erection, they fucking just took advantage. It's nothing more. Nothing less than fucking rape. They've been fucking humiliated. More times than soft Mick. Where's this fucking they've had a good time? It's sucking like they've been ruined. It's like, yeah, let's get into it. No, they fucking haven't. It's like, what the fuck? Who's written these fucking lines? What the ultimate fuck? And then it ends like that. You've got artistic drawings of women getting tortured and all this shit. And what's so funny is this film, right? Let me open on it here. This film got banned in the UK. And it was one of the video nasties. Got bad. You get two tacit posters of it. You got one where you've got a blanket. You got the idea it's a naked woman and it's covered in the woman. And you got the German thing. You know the German sign. It's like that. Everybody knows it. The German sign. It's hard to explain as a sort of photo, but you know I don't want to offend people. So you get a line like that. The line like that. 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 You got bare legs wide open. Then you've got another one with a woman's breasts, big breasted. And then you've got the Ditato one there, the Ditato, the German sign there. That's another one called Luftamp Seffen. And then you've got one that a lot of people remember. It's an artistic drawing of a German soldier with big fishes out station, fangs out, real fighting. Everyone remembers that in the UK. And the thing is, this film's been banned like, for a number of this. I mean, a number of this, around in the 60s. And the thing is, you can now find it on YouTube. Even though it's panned in the UK, it's virtually impossible to get a DVD, especially uncut. You can now get it uncensored, uncut on YouTube in HD. How funny, how funny is that? So, that's right, so there's bits where they've got the women, they're spaying them with all oses, you've got this fucking house station, they're getting battered and swatted. But again, it's not as... Horrible, let's say, as um, the SS experiment time where the fucking every two minutes you're seeing women getting tortured. It's more, it's more, I think it was more of a comedy. I'm actually watching this and I'm thinking, is this film really taken seriously? In today's era, yeah, I can see why it can upset people. No, it's history, people don't want to remember the days of the Germans, the days of the experiment camps, the days of what they did to the Jewish people. But in my eyes, this, it was just fucking BS. It was just an excuse to so new to tear, to so tits, to so ass, to get so that much we could still get. It was still the 1960s. This film, well, 1968, 1969, so unlike the later ones, like SS Experiment Tamp and the Bitato's Last Order, which I'd prefer that because there's a bit of a story to it. Again, that's just so nudity though. Unlike most of the other ones, where it was more nudity and the torture scenes were more in your face, they could only show what they could show, but yep, yep, it was a video nasty back in 
when, when video come out. In today's era, I'd look at it as more of a fucking comedy because that guy, the one who's doing the Jimmy Nathan, you do what I want you to do. He's acting, it's just like that. It's so over the top, so overhyped, so overacted that it's so fucking laughable to watch. I was watching it more for him because his acting was just making me laugh the way he was acting. Good women who are doing it for a good toss. That's his fucking acting. And he's so laughable. I was laughing my ass off. He was the highlight of the fucking film. The bad guy, in my eyes, my fucking eyes, is the highlight of the fucking film. And the good soldier, you think, was a German soldier, you thought it was going to be the good guy. He gets shot and all. Um, yeah, it's just shit, really. Shit, it's so fucking porn. Would I just decide to watch it again? If I want to watch a comedy and watch that guy with a German accent, I'll give it one for that. His acting was laughable. But to me, to me, it was just soft porn. In today's era, would this really be tasked as a video nasty? Yeah, it's a touchy subject about Germans and that. But in all fairness, there's a lot of biographies out there which is probably more disturbing than this. This to me, piece of shit. I'll give it, I'll be generous, I'll give it a one because that German guy's acting makes me laugh. It's all overacted. But the film, piece of fucking shit. See you later.